Hello, 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 friends. It's Min from Honest Stamp Age. One last time with a sneak peek for tomorrow's video hop sponsorship. Tomorrow we're doing the Pay It Forward YouTube Crafters video hop, and we are sponsored by MHK Designs. There will be this digital stamp set and digital paper pack that is an international grand prize, as well as a physical prize. They're open internationally. I personally will be offering prizes on my channel tomorrow, and I know a lot of the other gals are going to do so as well. So we really hope that you join us for your chance to win some of these amazing prizes. Today I'm going to use this beautiful Gibson Girl image to create this um, panel that says to my amazing friend and I'm going to show you how you can recolor these images super quickly using these um, brushes. Um, which ones did I use? I used ink and water brushes and I believe I also used dark stain brushes. But I absolutely love the way that these came out and so I'm going to show you how to create the wood grain texture in the background which is part of the paper pack actually and then how I recolored the hair and the dress portion of this Gibson girl. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a five and a half by three and three fourths inch panel so that I can layer it nicely onto an A2 card. And then I'm gonna create a new layer and make it black. And if you've been watching my videos all week, I love to do this because it's going to create a nice border after I create a little white rectangle on here. And it just makes it easy for quick and easy cards. So I did this panel and what I did to create the wood grain is, I'm gonna show you the whole step. So I've got my white. So I went into the shapes and to the effects by double clicking, double left clicking, and I went to pattern overlay, and I chose this wood grain pattern overlay that I wanted, and I hit okay. And so now we have this awesome wood background. And so that is the wood background that I used for the papers in the Pay It Forward paper pack. Next, I went in and I added my Gibson Girl image, and I decided I was going to start coloring it in with those beautiful um, brushes, but first what I wanted to do was to bring in the sentiment so that I knew where I was wanting my color to be. So I put it down here in this nice space, and I decided to go in and start by coloring in the eyes. And I chose blue for the eyes because I feel like that goes well with all of the hair colors. And then I just kind of layered on things. I also decided to start um, by filling in the skin with white because I didn't want the wood grain to show through. And then I added some color and I changed the opacity a little bit on that. And then I added a darker shade for some shading where the lines are. I love these images because it makes it so easy to shade. Then I went in with my first main color for the hair and I added some highlights and a little bit lighter color. And then I added some low lights with some darker color to kind of give it that um, layered interest and look more like somebody's real hair. After I did that, I added some blush on her cheeks and some lipstick in the same color as the blush. So I guess it's maybe not lipstick, it's a neutral natural lip. And then I've got all of my layers all together. And then I did my little dress area last. So now that I have this entire thing done, I would save this as an image. And in order to go in and recolor it, you just have to double click, double left click on the layer and change the color to whatever you want it to be. And because of these beautiful um, brushes that I'm using, they're not completely opaque. So they're gonna give a nice kind of 
tooly look to the fabric. And so I went in and I chose this magenta color, which looks a little bit washed out because of the way that the brush is. And then I just went into the different layers of the hair and I did a color overlay as well. So I like that it starts as this bright red because it shows you what you're gonna be changing. So this is showing me that I'm gonna be changing the main color of the hair. And I'm gonna go for a blonde look. So I'm wanting some yellows in there. And I even think that that right there looks great. I could have stopped there, but I decided to go in and change the highlights. And like I said, that red shows you exactly where you're changing, which is just awesome. And I clicked on the actual color of the hair and then dragged over to make it a little bit lighter. And then I changed my mind and I went in and changed different colors until I was happy with what it looked like. And the cool thing about this is you can go ahead and make whatever, like you could make this look like somebody's actual hair. And so I just really love the versatility of using these tools in Photoshop to create whatever layering of colors you want to do. So here's my sweet Gibson girl with blonde hair now. And I would save this and then I would go in and I would do the red hair. So that is an easy way to redo the hair colors on your digital image without having to spend a lot of time. I will show you the finished cards later. I hope you join us tomorrow, Saturday, May 16th, and join us for your chance to win one of these amazing prizes. Like I said, they're open internationally. Again, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, hugs and happy stamping, friends.